previously. What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I finally have some rebirth gameplay for you guys. So as you guys saw by my last video, I made a 6'7 pure sharpshooter and right now his ball control is either at 68 or 69 but once I get an upgrade for that and I can get the moves for 70 ball control, this player will be insane. Like right now he's pretty good but once I get that and once I get my other badges that I didn't get from rebirth, this build is going to be insane. So anyway, as you guys saw, we're playing some people that are pretty good so all we had to do this game was guard the three because they actually did have two pure shot creators as you can see wide open moving mid-range that's money for a pure shot creator and on the other end randy scored a quick five points and right here we should have gotten the rebound but we ended up not getting it this guy could have pulled an open three i don't know why he didn't take that and this browncer was trying to get past me and uh, he, he kind of did my defense was lacking right here i was trying to wrap around randy and get open but he does end up driving in getting a wide open dunk right here i was trying to create my own shot and as you can see it's not going well at all i can't get past this guy i can't really get an open three either so i just gave the ball to Jaden. he gave it to randy and look at this randy's gonna spin past this guy do a hezzy and get another wide open dunk so if you look in the top right you can see I have no points because uh, we kind of have a ball hog on our team. So I decided to take things into my own hands. Take a jump shot, bad release, but it still goes in. Don't roast me or anything. This is a new jump shot, so I'm still kind of learning the timing. But anyway, on defense, I played too much help and left this guy wide open for three. So we're only up by three points. I have two points. And Randy does have his takeover, so we decided to let him bring up the ball because if I did, I would probably get ripped. But he's going to drive in. I'm going to be wide open, full white. And I'm gonna hit it. So I ended the game with five points. Nothing crazy, but next game, y'all gotta watch this. To start off the game, I tried to create my own shot. It didn't really work, so I passed it to Randy. And I actually faked this guy out somehow. I just ran to the right. He ran onto Randy, and I green my first shot. Now we're back on defense, and Randy actually does bait this guy into taking a shot. So that was a bad shot. Jaden does get the rebound, and I'm down court, so he passes to me. I'm going to take a fadeaway three. So uh, on that shot, I meant to take a standing shot, and as you can see, it didn't end up being a standing shot. But anyway, they scored. We're back on offense. The score's tied at two, so right here, I wanted to get a shot off. Because I had two, you know, I wanted to go off this game. Randy's dribbling. He passes to Jaden. I actually cut behind Jaden, get a wide open three, and hit it. Because their defense on that play was trash. Like, we just crossed, and we messed their whole defense up. But anyway, we're back on defense. I don't know what this guy's doing. He literally just passed it right to Jaden. And Randy's going to hit me. I'm going to pull a mid-range, and I break the full bar. But they do make another bad pass. Randy's going to get the steal and he's going to get a dunk. And we're up 2-7 to seven already. So both teams ended up hitting a two-pointer. So we're still up by five. And I did cross with Randy right there and it didn't work. So I decided to cross again, get behind him, get a wide open three full bar and hit it. So at this point, I almost have takeover and I have eight points. And once again on defense, Randy's going to bait his guy. And he does get a steal. Jaden's going to recover that because they almost stole the ball. And look at this. They just keep trying to steal it. He's going to give it to Randy. Randy's going to hit me. I shoot a mid-range and it was a bad release. I'm still getting used to this jump shot once again. Right here, we were up by eight. We were playing some pretty good defense. I don't know why that guy didn't pass. Look at this. He's going to get blocked by a pure stretch big like that. Randy's going to flashy pass it to me. And for some reason, I'm the one that gets the turnover for that. I don't even think I had possession of the ball. But Randy's going to steal it from them, pull up for a fast break three, and green it. And this guy right here, he's trying to get me with a pump fake or a jab step or something, but I'm guarding him pretty well. He takes a baseline layup, and his teammate gets an offensive interference. So Jaden's going to pass it in. He passes to Randy, and Randy's going to actually drive in, draw the defenders. I get a wide open corner three. I released it a little bit early, but I do end up making it, and I do get takeover from it. Back on defense, I don't know what this guy's doing. He just did a snatch back. He pulled up in Randy's face, and he airballed the shot. Right here, Randy was just telling me to go to half court because the other guys were flopping. So he passes to Jaden. Jaden hits me, and I get a full bar? How's that not green? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to hit the shot. I ended up with 14 points. And although this gameplay wasn't anything crazy, in the future, you guys should expect some crazy gameplays with this player. Because number one, as you can see, I shot 5 for 8. That's not the best. 
I was still getting used to my jump shot. But I did shoot 4 for 5 from 3, so that's pretty good. And secondly, I'm kind of getting used to the player. Because I feel like it's a little bit different shooting on a guard than a big man. Even with the same jump shot, it just looks a little different. So I have to get used to that. And I have to get used to knowing what shots I can and can't take. Because on my post score, I take corner threes and I'll take an occasional wing three-pointer. But most of my shots are just corner threes wide open. So on this sharp, you may have seen me have a little bit of space and not take the shot. So that's why I'm still getting used to it. But in the future, expect some more park gameplay and pro-am gameplay with this player. Most of my future videos with this player won't be just strictly gameplay. It'll be challenge type videos and stuff like that. So make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Let's try to get this video to 20 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm out. Peace.